Wamba jendu kuna dada yangu karibu kwa mara nyingine kwenye Plug TV your number one infotainment channel kama kawaida you already know our routine if you're watching us for the first time welcome to Plug TV first of all this is where we plug you with every trending story and if you're watching us as a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in to our amazing story now what's trending on the internet kitu ambacho kinaendelea kuenea sahi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii ni drama kati ya mwanamuziki Willy Paul na mwanamuziki mwenzie anayejulikana kama Bahati. Na masaka kadhaa yaliyopita mwanamuziki Willy Paul aliachilia kibao chake kinachojulikana kama Lenga. Hichi ni kibao ambacho amemshirikisha mwanamuziki wa nyimbo za injili size 8. Na wimbo huu baada Willy Paul kuachilia alikuwa ameahidi mashabiki wake kwamba anakuja kuwabandua wasanii kadhaa kutoka kwenye trend list. Na miongoni ya wale wasanii ambao uh, Willy Paul aliahidi kwamba atawabandua ni mwanamuziki Bahati. Hapa pia ni rafikie kuelewa. Na uh, Willy Paul masaka kadhaa yaliyopita aliyeka kitu fulani pale kwenye Instagram ni kitu ambacho kiliwacha mashabiki wake akishangaa. Je, kwani Willy Paul anajaribu kuzua bifu kati ya yeye na Bahati? Na Willy Paul aliandika hivi kupitia kusaka kijamii wa Instagram masaka kadhaa yaliyopita. Thank you fam. Look at God's blessings. 18 hours and you're already hitting 300,000 views. Ule mjinga wa kulia ati alisemaje? Ati nimeisha. Well, huyo na wengine adabu nataka kuwapa from now sio ya kawaida. Mark my words. Hashtag #lenga out now. Na baada ya Will Paul kusema hivyo kupitia kusaka kijamii wa Instagram, atakuwa Bahati mwenyewe akaweza kujitokeza na kumjibu. By the way, Bahati akiwa na mkewa alikuwa ameenda kujivijari nje ya nchi na ndio amerudi tu siku ya leo. That is on tarehe a kumi mwezi wa saba mwaka na moja. Na Bahati baada ya kuasili Kenya akasema hivi kupitia kusaka kijamii wa Instagram, akijaribu kumlenga Will Paul, alisema hivi, The king is back. That was family time. I now hope that every artist has released their songs. During the one week I went on vacation, do I have been number one for so long, man? You see, I am a good person. I gave all of you the space, but I didn't. I don't understand. I still have three songs on trending and still rated hashtag number one on all the Kenyan countdowns. Tell me, should I drop another one today, Ama? Yaani Bahati anasema kwamba alikuwa mpatia tu wasanii wa Kenya break tu. Yaani ndio aweze pia kuenea kidogo. Elewa Bahati amekuwa ki trend sana hapa in the Kenyan music industry for almost a whole month. Tangu last month mwanamuziki huyu amekuwa ki trend pale kwenye Boom Play, kwenye YouTube yana na trend kila tu mahali. Na sis Bahati mwenyewe amerudi, ameahidi mashabiki wake kwamba amekuja kuwabandua wasanii ambao walikuwa wameanza ku trend tayari. Asa watu wanasha gani wasanii wa gani hao ambao wamekuja kuwabandua? Miongoni ya wale wasanii ambao na trend sahi kwenye Kenyan Music Chart ni mwanamuziki Willy Paul ambapo wimbo wake wa Lenga una trend at number one pale kwenye YouTube. With how many views at the moment? With 436,000 views within a day. Huo ni wimbo wa Willy Paul ambao mwaachilia masaka kadhaa yaliyopita trending at number one. Ukiangalia pale uh, Bahati ni kama ameshabanduliwa sahi, he is no longer trending. Hata tukiangalia pale kwa music, Bahati bado haja trend kidogo go on a trending number one Willie Paul followed by DJ CT followed by Zuchu and followed followed by Rayvanny and Gucci as unapata uh, bahati mwenyewe ayuko trending tena lakini amesema kwamba since amerudi anarudi ku trend kwa mara nyingine na pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kumetokea tetesi kwamba wasanii kadhaa wameanza kununua views pale YouTube ndio waweze ku trend na miongoni wale watu ambao walisema kwamba kuna uwezekano wasanii wa Kenya ama wasanii wengine wameanza kununua uh, views pale YouTube na msanii anayejulikana kama DK kwenye beat. Na DK alisema hivi kwenye comment ya Bahati. Umeamua vijana tununue views kabisa. Yaani kuna uwezekano wasanii fulani wananunua views. Lakini hao wasanii hatujijua ni kina nani. Hatujui kina nani hao wameanza kununua views. Sijui kama nyinyi mnawajua. Mnaweza wataja hapo kwenye comment section. Na pia miongoni wale wasanii ambao walisema kuna uwezekano kuna au wasanii kadhaa wananunua views hapa Kenya ni uh, mwanamuziki anayejulikana kama Masterpiece mwenyewe. Na Masterpiece uh, masaka kadhaa iliyopita kupitia kusaka kijamii wa Instagram alisema hivi hiyo wimbo haiwezi jo acheni ku force na muache ku buy views za YouTube na IG. What? Sasa watu wanashangaa ni wimbo gani huu ambao huwezi ambao Masterpiece anasema wanajaribu ku force V2 hadi hadi upate views. Wimbo gani huu? Mnaweza tuachia maoni yenu hapo kwenye comment section. Sasa tuko hapa tunangoja tuone what's happening. And by the way, asking about Willie Paul na Bahati. Je, 
mnaamini kwamba kuna uwezekano kuna beef kati ya wao wawili ama tu is just a friendly brawl mmeza tuache maoni yenu kwenye comment section mtuambie thank you for watching let's meet next time bye bye